ओके द लाइव इज देयर थैंक यू फेडोरा प्रेस गॉड थैंक यू जीसस हालेलुया सिस्टर कैन आई कैन आई टीच समथिंग एंड देन विल टेक द क्वेश्चंस यस 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 नो बिकॉज़ टुवर्ड्स द एंड विल टेक द क्वेश्चंस यस यस विल टेक द क्वेश्चंस ड्यूरिंग द एंड थैंक यू सो मच सिस्टर फॉर कमिंग यू वेलकम thank thank you for calling me thank you thank you so much thank you jesus praise god yes sister over to you thank you lord jesus praise you jesus hallelujah lord jesus thank you for this opportunity wonderful opportunity to come before you and to learn the word lord and learn get the wisdom knowledge understanding thank you jesus you have chosen us to raise up our generations who seeks you lord to give to give you glory all the days of your life their life thank you jesus for anointing us blessing us to be the blessing to nations amen amen all of amen. us uh, brothers and sisters who are gathered here we are all agreeing we agree that we are blessed yeah we are blessed is it a interactive session Yes, sister. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, we are all that. blessed. Yeah, we are all blessed. You no. Know? Now, what is uh, blessed? What is the meaning of blessed? Is it is to empower? God has empowered us to bring God kind of results. We have the same power, and He has given us the authority. He has given us His anointing to bring forth God kind of results. and what is his desire to have a godly family blessed family who glorifies his name he wants to have fellowship and relationship with us he is the god the father he is after our hearts and after our children's hearts correct now we know we are blessed how do we say we are blessed can we say where we are where it is told that we are blessed in the scriptures genesis 128 genesis 128 are you putting the scripture sister yes sister just sharing yes. the screen yeah genesis 128 So, so which version would you like? Is amplified okay? It's fine, sister. Okay, praise God. Yes. And God blessed them, granting them certain authority, and said to them, "Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth, and subjugate it, putting it under your power, and rule over, dominate the fish of the sea, the birds of the air." and every living thing that moves upon the earth see in the scripture what he said is god blessed them and said to them be fruitful and increase in number fill the earth subdue it rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over every living creature that moves on the ground that means we have the authority dominion over every created thing yeah but then also if i ask you one question if god has blessed us if he has given every authority every dominion over, over to us are we are uh, is our families blessed and they are perfect in everything do we have perfect families now now god has blessed us to be the blessing to nations and he has given us everything but i am asking how are our families are they blessed and perfect in nature as god wants it to be or do we have any lack or anything 
we we struggle to overcome anybody there we can say, can we say our families are perfect in nature no no but why in spite of god blessing us why our families are not perfect what is the reason the reason is is even though god has blessed us we lack knowledge right the uh, hosea 4:6 says my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge yeah we don't we don't follow the instructions and then we are fallen into misery isn't it now god has asked us he has blessed us he has given us his instructions but we have failed to follow the instructions what is god's will his will is be blessed have dominion but as we have not followed the instructions from adam onwards because he disobeyed from adam onwards there is problem in the families you see anybody for in the scriptures now uh, from the beginning it is adam and eve because they disobeyed they are one of the son killed the other person other son then went on to abraham they were all right until hagar came in then if you see eli the prophet a priest eli his sons were evil then comes down david he was a mighty king anointed king but how was his family his family had all the situations murder rape you say it it is there it was there now if you ask me how is your family i want to tell about my family so that the people who are listening here will be benefited so that they don't do the same mistake what we have done now see, brothers and sisters here if you see god uses those broken people only to comfort others he brings out he delivers them from the from the pain from the difficulty from the situation what we went through so that we become the ministers of reconciliation we give the comfort to the others who go through the same thing now i will tell little of my, my our journey in our family life when we started both of us were very pious religious um we can say we, can, we were excellent catholics going for mass obeying parents everything we did but we were ignorant about word we were not having any knowledge of word what are the instruction given in the bible so when we got married though lord jesus uh, uh, lord god the father said your womb is blessed it is multiplied and it is fruitful when we married when when uh, when i got to know the very beginning itself i got conceived but i didn't I was not even aware i got conceived and i was so sick when we visited the doctor the doctor said you have conceived and maybe i was not ready the immediate uh, my brothers and sisters maybe some youngsters are there this is for your benefit when you get married you should know when we marry we should know how we should be prepared for the family it is not the celebrations of wedding not the celebrations of any parties but it is the preparation to bring up a godly blessed generation to um, glorify our lord jesus so when we got married when i got to know that i was pregnant when we went to the doctor when i understood i was pregnant the immediate decision was 
can we terminate the baby the utter the we can say such bad thought it was but thanks to god the doctor who we visited she was a catholic or christian doctor who gave us the understanding saying that you cannot do this because the womb is blessed and the child is the gift of god and you are very decision very uh, very thinking is very wrong so you ask forgiveness and you carry on with the pregnancy there are so many people who want the children but they are not, they are uh, they are uh, still waiting for the fruit so uh, we came back but after that my life was there was never there was any happiness i was full of anxiety fear and all the negative situations happened and i did not know it would affect my baby and then the slowly slowly the child came out child was very cranky she was sickly but by god's grace she was very good in studies she was extraordinary in her academics and other skills and wherever she went she was a wonderful gentle child she had lot of accolades accolades and she was praised she was appreciated by one and all but at home she was so much deadly against me and i did not know why the and then we kept going for the retreat centers every year we went and uh, we came back and the story continued nearly around 10th standard she developed uh, uh, thyroid and then um, later when i understood in a retreat did you reject the child in the womb this is why that is why all these tantrums she is playing with you when i understood it was my mistake that is causing her this pain this rejection i was i was not able to accept the fact because of me my child is suffering now started condemnation i started condemn myself i was not able to accept my decisions and uh, the suffering my child was going through so now what to do i didn't even i was not even we were not even aware the word of god heals we have to come to jesus and he is the one who takes away all the rejections and then she went abroad for uh, higher studies there again one after the other she was uh, in difficulty again those uh, skin infirmity the white patches came and the corona time and our retreat we were not able to go for retreat because the flights were cancelled and we were in oman now the difficult situation and the child is the our child is there abroad then somebody said you go to zoom classes there is somebody who is teaching the word of god and word of god heals when we came to know the word heals we came i that time thankfully it was corona time and we started listening to the word and within three and i thankfully there was a child who gave the testimony saying that her his mother had even tried abortion and that had affected the child but when he understood the word the family confessed galatians 3 13 14 and the child got delivered now i was so happy oh there is remedy for my child also though i had made mistake we had made mistake my child has a remedy lord jesus is delivering her so we started confessing the word of god galatian 3 13 14 can you please put sister galatian 3 13 14 
Christ purchased our freedom and redeemed us from the curse of the law and its condemnation by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs crucified on a tree, cross, in order that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might also come to the Gentiles, so that we would all receive the realization of the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. Now, in a short form, I will say, I am delivered, my child is delivered from the curse of the law. Abraham's blessings are upon her and her generations. We are delivered from the curse of the law. Abraham's blessings are upon us and our generations. What a comfort for the parents and for the children who went through, going through. So I started confessing this. I started and we started as a family, started confessing this verse and, and went through the teachings. Then, though I had no guts to see her face when she got that skin infirmity, we were never seeing each other's face. But after three months, my sister told me, Sister, why? Your, our child is completely set free. Her skin is as smooth as the baby's skin. Now, the joy, the joy the family, as a family we got through the word, there was no, there was no limit. We were so happy. Now we understood how many people are going through. If Lord Jesus has delivered us from this pain, this affliction, now we, our mission started. We discovered our mission in the kingdom of God. Now I have, as a teacher, wherever possible, I looked for the children who had this skin infirmity. And Lord Jesus used me as a mighty instrument to deliver those children from the skin infirmity and all other issues. So, our mission starts, our uh, assignment starts from the same place where we were beaten up by the devil because of the ignorance of the scriptures. Now see how we were going through so such a difficult phase of life. Now it turned into joy. No more looking back. And everybody and anybody who came across this situation, we started giving the word to them. And they all got delivered, not only because Galatians 3, 13, 14, listening to the teachings, various teachings, Luke 4, 17, 18, and so many other uh, scriptures. And uh, my main key scriptures for the children, you know, to teach the children, it's very easy, became Luke 4, 17, 18. Whatever the issues, I started giving and started writing only Luke 4, 17, 18. And I told them, you write these uh, scriptures, how you write, uh, brush your teeth every day. The same thing, you write these scriptures, you confess these scriptures and you see the results. And I am seeing every child who followed the instruction, every person who followed the instruction got deliverance. Now Lord Jesus said, I have comforted you so that you comfort others. Uh, that is 1 Corinthians uh, uh, where we where we are supposed to comfort now, I'll tell you. Um, uh, we have the same comfort. We have I have comforted you so that you comfort. One Corinthians, I think, uh, the three, four, uh, four. Uh, do you know, sister? It's the same comfort what I have given you. Uh, as I said, it's 2 Corinthians 1, 4. Ah, 2 Corinthians 1, 3 and 4. 1, 3 and 4. Yes, 1, 3 and 4. Okay. 
blessed gratefully praised and adored be the god and father of our lord jesus christ the father of mercies and the god of all comfort who comforts and encourages us in every trouble so that we will be able to comfort and encourage those who are in any kind of trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by god that Please means god. the same comfort what we got we have to we are commanded to give it to others and now we understood we have to follow the instructions the bible is given for us for what so that we follow the instruction it is holy spirit guided and we have to understand we have to learn for a godly family see one timothy sister can you change the uh, what you say version yeah version one yes, because this, yeah one timothy 3 16 and 17 you put and niv kjv no problem one timothy 3 16 and 17 you see this how important for us to know the word of god it says beyond all question the mystery from which true godliness springs is great he appeared in the flesh was vindicated by the spirit was seen by angels was preached among the nations was believed 1 1 timothy 3 16 and 17 yes. 1 timothy can you 1, put the name yeah 3 16 and 17 that I is oh yeah ah uh, so so 16 is the last verse see 1 timothy 3 16 and 17 what is given here is all scripture are inspired by god and you, you and use useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives it corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right god uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work niv version or kg version if you take also but you understood no what it is timothy it's true to timothy that scripture is to timothy okay to timothy to timothy 316 and 17 yeah all scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness so that the servant of god may be thoroughly equipped for every good work praise god that means sister how important it is for us to learn the word of god because see when we understood see all the strugglings all the pain all the sufferings we went through in our family because we did not have the knowledge of the word of god and when we understood the word of god is the medicine medicine it is the solution for every problem that time uh, we became a blessing our family became a blessing the same way every family is supposed to be a blessing to the nations isn't it so what importance is given to the scripture scripture is the god puts his word above his name so we have to understand what is given in the scripture for the families see sister uh, deuteronomy uh, chapter 6 you see verse 3 deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 3 you see Here, here is, is sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry here is rail and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey just as the lord the god of your ancestors promised you that means sister we have the promised land we are the we have the land of uh, milk and honey 
and he, there are so many places it is written the meditate upon the word of god day and night and you are prosperous um, joshua 189 also it is given no everywhere if you see the whole of bible it is said you follow the instructions and your ways are prosperous yes or no everybody understands yes no yes. do you have any question sister anybody has any questions if you ask questions maybe i can uh, or do you have any questions no no so i don't no. uh, does anyone in the audience have any questions so far okay now hmm. what i want to tell here is maybe the people who hear like my our situation going through some situations bad situations okay so there is hope for us in christ jesus whatever the situation is when we come to lord jesus there is victory now see in uh, john 6:37 it is said i will not reject anyone who comes to me in this anyone means includes you and me anyone have you seen sisters and brothers whoever went to lord jesus the last minute that thief went he asked forgiveness and he said you are in the kingdom of god now right now and then you see the people who went hungry he fed them people who went uh, who were sick uh they were healed the samaritan woman she, she went she received the power of the holy spirit mary magdalene went she became became the apostles so when we go what happens to us we become we become also disciples we become also apostles we also get salvation we are also delivered from every situation which we are going through there is hope in our lord jesus but only thing is we have to come to him we have to repent and come to him saying that lord jesus i want you i want your help then everything is given to us because he died on the cross taking every rejection every pain every suffering upon the cross and he blotted out every negative report upon the cross yes or no is it not good news for us then if you have any negative situation for example youngsters especially you must be thinking there is nobody as much reject rejected as me as of uh, as like me there is nobody lonely like me there is nobody suffering like me then look to jesus his own friends see he multiplied bread among jewish people and his own friends rejected him and his own uh, disciple judas he rejected him now um, nobody nobody was with him except mother mary and uh, his uh, disciple until the end that is uh, john saint john correct no saint john yes. so how he has gone through every rejection see there is one uh, there is one uh, saint called bakita you know she was a slave and she was the african girl who was a slave she was going through so much and she came running uh, to a church she did not know who was jesus what is just nothing and she when she came to the church and she saw the cross in africa uh, the cross was the symbol of uh, shame and uh, these slaves were crucified that those days and she thought in this building also who is cross crucified who is there in this cross the priest there and she asked that priest who is this crucified here then he said it is our lord jesus who is the savior who is crucified so that uh, uh, by his wounds we are healed she said how can he be your god and he is crucified and he said he is uh, wounded and we are healed then he explained to he, her that uh, how he has taken how he became a slave to take away every sin every rejection every loneliness uh, uh, on his body and he gave his healing to all of us 
he was wounded there was nobody uh, was wounded as much as jesus was wounded if you know uh, every bone was out of joint he was disfigured and uh, his heart was melted like wax and his beard was pulled and he was uh, stuck with a crown of thorns and every part of his body was wounded so that we get healed same way sisters and brothers wherever we are wounded we are rejected we were uh, hurt now when we come to jesus with the same with the same pain when when what we went through in that pain we become the comfort to others jesus is using us our test into our testimony our mess uh, to become the message to others so anybody in this panel if you feel that there is no solution jesus is the solution he turns every situation to the good of those who love him that is roman 8:28 and we know that in all things yes roman 8:28 and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose please call according to according to his purpose now sometimes even jesus or god allows us to go through some situations so that we are perfected in his love and we become the channel of peace channel of love to others we are called to be salt and light of the world and we are we are you know uh, we become the channel to others to comfort them now see um when we come to lord jesus we become the new creation every negative situation he blots out and he makes us a new creation there is nothing missing nothing broken we are delivered from every curse and he makes us the blessing to the nations now 2 corinthians 5:17 says those who come to lord jesus they are the new creation they are the new creation now you see sister um how how we get healed is that is isaiah 53 4 to 6 you see isaiah 53 4 to 6 you see surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering yet we considered him punished by god stricken by him and afflicted but he was pierced for our transgressions he was crushed for our iniquities the punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed we all like sheep have gone astray each one of us has turned to our own way and the lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all praise god praise god now sister as uh, our topic is how to become the godly parents how do we uh, become the role model for our children now in every uh, letter by paul or saint peter's letter it is to it is given instructions are given how the parents should be we have to be the role models to our children see for the children it is written see it is very important god's very important uh, essential part of his creation is the family okay so we should know how to take care of that uh, family unit especially the uh, when we get conceived the womb itself we have to protect the womb how without having any negative thoughts safeguarding that womb 
सेफ गार्डिंग एवरी दैट वूम दैट चाइल्ड फ्रॉम एवरी नेगेटिव सिचुएशन एंड देन ही हैज टोल्ड अस हाउ यू हैव टू रिन्यू योर माइंड विद द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड हाउ यू हैव टू बी पीसफुल विद ईच अदर देन ओनली वी आर एबल टू ब्रिंग अप अ गॉडली फैमिली सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही हैज गिवन अस सी वॉट हैपन्स हियर इज हजबेंड एंड वाइफ समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स आई एम राइट यू आर राइट all this conflicts go on so but what the bible says corinthians 1 corinthians 13 4 to 8 you see 1 corinthians 13 4 to 8 1 corinthians 13 4 to 8 love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always perseveres love never fails but where there are prophecies they will cease where there are tongues they will be stilled where there is knowledge it will pass away praise god this sister here love is patient i can say clara is patient clara is kind it does i does i don't envy i don't boast so each partner father and mother we can say to each other and we have to forgive each other we have to be the role models to the children at home then only children will follow what we say we cannot see we cannot fight at the house and then expect the children to be a uh, cool calm patient kind no we have to show the way then only children also will follow and then see what is uh, for the children what is given in the bible for the children it is given ephesians 6 1 to 4 you see ephesians 6 1 to 4 children obey your parents in the lord for this is right honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth fathers do not exasperate your children instead bring them up in the training and instruction of the lord praise god now what is the what is the children who obey your parents now that is uh, that is the instruction given uh, and there are many places and this is in the old testament old no the 10 commandments it is after you know uh, honor your god after that comes honor your father and mother it is the second place there that means the children are supposed to honor your father and mother and it is come with the blessing you will live long and you will have a prosperous life correct no so now how do we make the children obey first we have to know we have to discipline our children whatever god has created it is uh, he is uh, you know master of discipline there is nothing wrong you know nowhere something you know missing nothing missing nothing broken we say no see everything is so perfect what god has created it to fun- you know function right see how the sun comes how the moon goes everything is perfected now when we uh, say discipline your children first we have to see that our children obey the parents that is disciplining the children not you know after 2 3 years no how do we train the puppies for example how do we train after 2 3 years or the day one we train it is from the day one we train the puppies but how much more important it is for us to train the children because they are going to be godly women godly men 
who are carrying out the kingdom work so from the beginning so from the womb itself i will say now because of the my mistake i had not done but now i understand now what i say for others is anybody whom i am meeting the first preference if i see any pregnant women or any the new couple i tell them take care of your womb take care of your child because everything else will fall into place later if the child is blessed if you keep uh, confessing the scriptures in the womb itself my child is anointed my child is blessed my child has the mind of christ wisdom of god is formed within the child my child has the uh, spirit of wisdom knowledge understanding upon my child from the womb if you keep blessing what a what a child what, what a child you know when it comes out what kind of a child it would be isn't it now what i gave every negative words everything what was not in the kingdom of god i had uh, i had uh, given to the child but in the same time now when i understand you speak faithful words to the children from the womb itself but now those who missed it like me even they are uh, grown up you have the authority to lay hands on those children if they are not near you lay hands on the uh, children on the photographs and say my children are blessed and anointed they are prosperous in every area of life they are rooted in the word of god they are uh, they are Im- uh, created in the image of christ they can do all things through christ jesus the joy of the lord is their strength they are victorious in everything they do they are protected in the precious blood of jesus i we anoint them with, with the precious blood of jesus from the crown of the head to the sole of their feet we declare hedge of protection around them and we command the holy angels to protect them like this so and and so forth you keep on confessing the scriptures and word of god is the incorruptible seed it will never go void and it will give give uh, it, it is like uh, you know uh, the rain comes down it will give the water to the seed and a uh, bread to the sower same way what word we speak it gives manifestation to our children blessed families and then we are raising the generations to glorify our lord jesus any doubts in this now there are so many children you know as i am a teacher in the school i get so many complaints my mummy doesn't love me my father doesn't love me i keep saying i ske small prayer you know slowly because you know there are some restrictions then i ask jesus fill them with their with the, his love because jesus said in the bible it is written mark 16 17 18 those who lay hands on the sick the sick shall recover right mark 16 17 18 those who, we we are anointed to lay hands on the sick we are anointed to proclaim the good news to the nations we are the salt and the light of the world now we have to make use of the opportunities who are wherever we come across whether we are meeting some children or some people in the marketplace schools churches or wherever in the bus in the car in the train in the plane wherever we are meeting if there is something if there is any opportunity give the word lay hands on the sick lay hands on the people talk to them smile at them give what you have give your time give an ear listening ear and you see the changes any doubt in this aren't we so blessed are we not so blessed and jesus has done everything for us and we have to just obey his commandments and go out and give the good news to the nations to deliver them from their afflictions can i proceed yes sister yes yes, yes. now see unless the children are disciplined we cannot uh, uh, you know unless we make them obey unless we pay attention to them or unless we make them to pay attention to us we cannot discipline them 
and disciplining the children is very important because where there is you know where there is holy spirit there is perfection there is holiness there is no confusion so they have they they have to obey because uh, god has commanded the children to obey your parents and you are prosperous in every area of life and then proverbs 29:18 says see here also proverbs 29:18 says discipline your children and they will give you peace peace of mind and will make your heart glad can you read sister proverbs 29:18 where there is no revelation people cast off restraint but blessing blessed is the one who heeds wisdom sorry wisdom's instruction praise god this okay discipline your children and they will give you peace of mind and will make your heart glad so this giving discipline disciplining the children is very important okay the second point is avoid anger now just because we have the authority over the children maybe in the school maybe in the training places maybe in our house just because we are big and bad we don't have to show the authority avoid anger James one nineteen sister you change uh, NIV or KJV okay the sister uh, James one NIV only and that were the scripture that you're uh, uh, saying that is in Proverbs twenty nine seventeen discipline your children and they will give you peace they will bring you the delights you desire okay that means okay, maybe that means you know, some of, some of the versions are combined in some of the this no version like this no uh, yes, translation yes. yes. So, yes. so you tell me which version you are reading. I'll put that one only. Okay, because see, for me, what I did is I took whatever the first it came, NIV, KJV, whatever it came, I took. Yes. Okay. okay now, no problem. Yeah. Now see, second point is avoid anger. Now, what happens, you no know, sister? When see there is see it is, uh, children are bound to make mistake. They are not, you know, uh, it's it if they are not making mistake, it is you know something strange. they are bound to make mistake even in the bible it is written uh, children will make mistakes but how do we correct them are we the throne of grace or are we the strict those uh, ring masters see james 119 says sister can you read My dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry Praise God What sister can you read it again Yes my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry Slow to become Hello. angry Hello baba can you read it word by word because that's why god put you as a reader yes please god my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry no we are supposed to be the throne of grace at home now when children are scared to come to us if we are like so strict we are so angry will the child children come to us they will run away from us and they will hide things from us so what jesus what is the scripture saying is you have to be slow you have to, you should be patient enough to listen to them you cannot raise your voice you can, you cannot be the ring master there have patience be the throne of grace how jesus is merciful and graceful to us we are supposed to be graceful to our children we don't they want them to be terrified they need to come to us when they have questions doubts they should be able to come to us boldly as they grow older do we give that opportunity to them 
and third question is third point is avoid contradiction now in the house when the children are screaming we are also screaming what will happen and we are saying you don't scream is it contradiction we the children are screaming and we are screaming at the top of the voice because just because we are parents is it godly parenting children or any brothers and sister can you tell me no no it's the children will get confused what happens we tell we tell don't scream and we are screaming they get confused so avoid contradiction when we give advice don't repeat the same thing 100 times 99 times you be stern it doesn't mean that see disciplining is our duty and responsibility as our god as a parents it is our responsibility from our god but we cannot you know uh, show our authority over them just because they are big so don't repeat the same thing again and again but be stern at the first time itself don't delay the obedience and tell them see if you have done this nicely with the soft voice if you tell see being as a teacher as a mother i have seen this when i don't raise the voice the children listen to us quickly but when we scream they know that we have lost our control correct any questions brothers and sisters here anything no sister no oh. sister and then also we say uh, you know when we bring up the children avoid gender confusion you know if god has made male and female it is good now why we have to tell you know oh uh, you know there are nowadays so many toys you know there is no difference we are raising up the warriors the godly men and women we have to raise up the children accordingly you know we if you have seen uh, just because parents want a boy or a girl and we you know dress them you know according to our wish we have to avoid bible says all these things cannot have you know contradicting uh, you know you are my girl you are my boy we should avoid and the next point is appreciate your children when the children see they have you know they will come to us you no know, to because they want to please us that time we have to though we are busy we have to take time to appreciate them otherwise what they think my parents are not interested in my work then they'll never come so appreciate our children when the children come to you showing the good work pay attention and praise them they come to us because they want to please us as parents we have to train our children according to the bible way now anybody has any question please ask question the floor is the platform is for you then we will again continue yes praise god if anyone has yes. any questions please put them in the chat and we'll read them for you the point sister has described um our dear sister fedora she has put it in the chat as well so if you would like please take down the notes any questions okay sister since you asked about grace uh, sorry you since you spoke about grace so can you provide some guidance on balancing the importance of discipline um with the expression of love and grace in parenting sister repeat the question so how do we balance discipline but still like we still implement discipline but still do it with love and grace yes you know according to me my knowledge what i have understood is this sister it is natural we get angry correct no 
it is natural suppose you know some child is doing something we get angry but they say we when we are angry we should not uh, you know you no know, we should not reprimand them with the same anger after that anger goes down say for example um what we say i have to forgive that child i have to accept that child and then once my anger goes down then only i have to tell that child see what you have done is not correct this this has consequences make the child understand and when you make the child understand the consequences what has happened that time the child will understand oh my parents love me but what happens is sister because you are angry you start beating the child you start scolding the child the child wouldn't even know whether you love the child or whether what is happening to him he doesn't know brother johnson is it the correct way yes papa wants to speak yes papa praise god when you said about grace when you said about grace who is the person who has got grace the person who believes or the person who doesn't believe person who believes you get grace through the knowledge of god or by sitting at the beach side knowledge of god so if you have the knowledge of god the knowledge brings joy and peace and when you see somebody coming against you the very reason you are angry is because that situation has changed your focus from christ to your situation in both the cases there is emotions as long as my child is being good i've got good emotions emotions but when my child is not doing good my emotions changes so mostly we are living in a world called happiness and as the topic is all about joy joy is when i focus on the lord so we who are in the kingdom can be in the kingdom can talk about jesus and still get connected to our external things that are in our favor and express extreme emotions because the circumstances around us is in our favor and that kind of life is temporary that kind of life is unstable because things can go wrong any moment but a person especially the parents who are connected to god through his word through his promises they have emotions on the inside through their relationship with christ and that's what we were studying from morning from the book of james that consider it nothing but joy when you face different kinds of trials he did not say if he said when so everybody is going to face unfavorable situations the question is is my joy coming from christ or is my joy coming from situations and circumstances that are in my favor and if it's coming from any other source other than joy other than christ then i am operating on happiness not on joy and happiness is temporary but if my source is christ everything around changes but christ never changes neither his word changes and if i'm focused on christ then my internal emotions is not based on 
external things that are happening. And that's why the person practicing that my joy is through his word, through my relationship with God, he experiences deep peace regardless of any difficult situation. And that's why we parents got to grow our relationship with God that when I see with my eyes things are bad at home, I have a choice. I can continue to be rejoicing in the Lord and the joy that comes from the Lord is the root and that joy is the strength of my life. That means no matter what happens, I refuse to accept the things seen and I continue to believe in those things that God has promised me which are unseen. By practicing this kind of life, it's very difficult then for the enemy to strike you because you are not on your ability because the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Lord's word is your strength and that gives you God's ability, God's grace, God's power, God's anointing and all that potential which has been reserved, not yet tapped into, begins to get tapped in the battle. And that's why when I look at St. Paul's life, he was always filled with joy. Especially when he wrote that, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. He has been chained between two soldiers. He is waiting for his execution. He is waiting for his death. He is waiting for, uh, he's being tortured day and night. But he refuses to focus on what he's going through, but is focused on where he's going to. Praise God. And if we all practice not happiness but joy, then our life becomes supernatural. Our children looking at our lifestyle are attracted and they too want to experience the supernatural life in their life. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Papa, for sharing. Um, so, uh, can I ask the next question? Yes, sister. Yes. So, the next question is, my daughter has a skin ailment. What scriptures to confess? My pregnancy wasn't smooth. Brother, can I answer or your answer? No, no, you have to answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sister, the question is again, can you please repeat? Because I want to know exact words what she spoke. Okay. My daughter has skin ailment. Hmm. What scriptures to confess? Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Yeah. You can go slow. Okay. It will benefit everyone. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'll say it one more time. She's saying, my daughter has skin ailment, a skin disease. What scriptures to confess? Mm. Mm. My pregnancy wasn't smooth. Uh, sister, uh, if you have uh, listened to my the first you know few minutes I spoke about my Pregnancy. Um, I thought no mother had such bad pregnancy like mine. Because I did not know at all what was pregnancy. Every negative thing went through my pregnancy. Every situation was bad. And then I was condemning myself when I understood it was my mistake, the child suffered. So now, how I came, how I um, got delivered, I told you, I went through, as I was listening to the teachings, there was one child who gave the testimony saying that my mother even tried to um, take out the life of the baby. 
so she confessed galatians 3 13 14 that is the child is delivered from the curse of the law and abraham's blessings are upon me and my generations upon my child and generations now that was the first scripture i got it is not that you know this scripture that scripture but i got that galatian that child told me that a child was witnessing child was giving testimony so i took that and galatian 3 13 14 i kept confessing because i had so many issues with my pregnancy so i kept confessing and then also the spirit of the lord the luke 4 17 18 see it is not that which scripture word because it that is, time corona time it is it is 18 19 but not 17 18 uh, okay 18 19 so uh, it's not the sister to start with we can start like this but what i had done is day and night i started listening to the word of god because it was a blessed opportunity during corona time to listen to the word of god we were at home and uh, day and night the teachings were going on but sister that was my process and whoever you are i'm telling you now for the children for the school students what i'm doing is i'm only giving luke 4 18 19 i write i tell them children you write this many times as much you can and they follow the instruction and they are baby like faith because the teacher says baby like faith delivers them from every infirmity they come clean so it is their heart condition i believe i think because whatever is told they do and uh, uh, whoever come across they get free they set free so and also if you want sister uh, more on this private I mean, this is privately if you want to ask i can help you i can give my number also uh, please take down 9910187 and if there is anybody also please contact me i can that's help that's a wrong because... number no i said that's a wrong number we we'll put the helpline numbers in the chat but that number that she gave is a wrong number a uh, oman number you're saying she never gave the code Now yes. People know, now people don't I, know from where she's. She's uh, sorry. Did I okay, put you under pressure? Because I thought maybe I have to give the helpline number. Yes, sir. Okay, zero zero nine six. Why are you angry with me now because of that? I I love you, Sister you, Jan. You 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 got a lawyer in my house. Yes, I love Sister Janis. <laughs> Praise God. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, zero zero nine six eight nine nine one zero one. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I put it in the chat for everyone. Very, very, very good. Thank you. And uh, brothers and sisters, I am amazed. Uh, actually, see, for my daughter, it was three months. For everybody, you know, where you know, it was three months. But these children, within a within a week, they come back clean. it is so so awesome you know how they get back and the minute you know the minute they get little more scratching they do it more i think they will write more and they get it they get things done i this uh, holy spirit is working so supernaturally with them and all glory to lord jesus amen and okay. then sister yeah the mother who is feeling guilty of what happened during pregnancy or what has happened in the past or whatever has gone wrong go to colossians chapter 2 13 and 14 that will destroy this condemnation forever give me king james okay blotting out blotting thank you Thank you, Jesus. Papa, would you like me to read, or do you want to read yeah. it? No, 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 no. I want you to read, but read it slowly. Yes. And you, being dead 
in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh has he quickened together with him having forgiven you all trespasses blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross praise god and you every one of us being dead in our sins that is in the old nature that came from adam everyone were created perfect adam's action made us imperfect and it went on and because of which we got selfish nature and that is that self centeredness uncircumcision uncircumcision of your flesh has not will has god quickened together so we who are baptized we who believe in christ we are grafted together with christ having forgiven each one of us all trespasses so whoever you are god says the day you receive jesus everything wrong that had happened to you that you did happen everything has been forgiven your past your present and also your future everything has been forgiven and now instead of being punished you have received mercy and love and abundant grace and that's why he says blotting out erasing wiping cancelling every document that was written about you about your sin jesus took it that was against us so when you see jesus being nailed on the cross at that very moment jesus also is nailing something on the cross and what is that a sin document a arrest document a document that qualifies us to go to hell jesus took that document and every other documents and nailed it on the cross and his precious blood that is shed on the cross destroyed all such documents that were contrary to us he took it out of the way and nailed it to his cross so whoever you are who is asking this question i want you to believe the scripture that promises you that your past is nailed on the cross because jesus has already paid the penalty for you on the cross and he has destroyed the document the debt document that heaven sued against you jesus having paid the price has destroyed the document against you and declared you forgiven so there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who walk after the spirit and not after the flesh all i need to do i all i need you to do is believe clara this question yes. is to you you yes. say you are very devoted person very very good person in the church yes you were a catechist yes your husband was also a good member of the church you all did everything good but when the trials came did you surrender everything or did you have to learn the bible that is the What word of god heard... no the speak faith filled words word of god knowledge 
only saved me because it helped me to renew the mind. Otherwise, what we would do is we will go in because I was the champion of worries and anxieties. Hello, I am not asking that. I am asking you. You are a strong member in the church. Yes. And you did not know the Bible. Hmm. No. Then why didn't you not surrender your problem to Jesus? No, because um, Jesus has already taken everything. No, we are victorious. I am, I am asking you. You are an active member in the church, right? You are very good in praying, right? Yes. Then why didn't you not? Surrender your problem to Jesus. Because of unbelief. No, Sorry? that is not the... Can you answer me, Clara? Yeah, I'm, think I'm thinking. I want to... Because that's the, not the way. Because uh, believe in your heart, confess in your mouth. And uh, what you want, you say what you want. So, so you mean to say your believing was wrong, your system was wrong. I was not doing according to the word of God. Confess in your mouth. But you are always in your a good person. Huh? Double-minded. Sorry? No, no. Double-minded. No, no, because... no, no. For her to be double-minded, she did not have the knowledge of the word at all. So why didn't you surrender everything to God? Because Bible is the sword of God. No, the I'm not sword saying of... now after you read the Bible. I'm not saying now. Lack of I'm knowledge. Saying... God pleaser or being a people pleaser or God pleaser. No, 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 no. No. Uh, no. That uh, all Bible... those things don't come. Yeah. Hose... Clara, Hose... 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 six. The people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. That was my, my our so, case. Didn't you, didn't you hear any time people say, surrender everything to God and he will take care of you? I have understood, but also I understood how, how miserable I was all the time. So did you surrender to God? No, I fought back. I fought with the word then. I am talking to you before you met before you came for the Bible studies. That's what I'm trying I, to tell people. I used to, okay, before I came for the word of, came to the word of God, I used uh -huh. to get the solution, going for the retreat centers and getting their solution and coming back and again going. Every year, go, come. Because you were not interested in the word. You were interested were in praying. Aware. Yeah, we were not aware. Because if a person is praying, and he doesn't know the word, it is like a person who is using araldite. There are two, two tubes. One is a glue and one is the hardener. So if you use only the hardener, it won't work. If you use only the glue, it won't work. So before you pray, you need to know the truth. And Jesus said, when my word abides in you, then only you can become his disciple. Yes. And when you become his disciple, that you want to follow him, you will begin to know the truth. And when you apply the truth, the truth will make you free. And today, if you are standing there strong and bold, it's because of the Holy Spirit who taught you the truth. You apply the truth. You got first and experience of the truth that it works. And now you are ready to stand on the front line and say, this is how the system works and this is what I need to do. I surrender all means I do not carry my burdens and my worries and all negative things with me, but I cast it to Jesus. And once I've cast it to Jesus, then I fill myself with his truths. Yes. I labor hard 
against the lies of the devil. That I'm not carrying these worries anymore. I've given it to Jesus. I don't want to hear the voice of the stranger. And to keep that voice of the stranger shut down, I'm going to speak more and more of his word and believe in my heart. And that's when things begin to change. And now you got the word. That's the truth. You believed in that word and opened your mouth and spoke it. It became your prayer. And now truth and prayer of faith brought the breakthrough in your life. That's when you're filled with joy. Amen. Now, that sister is still asking. Say, so this is for the benefit of all. I think I also went through a lot until recent. This sister is saying, I surrender, but I was constantly in guilt of my past. Still, she's saying. So, usually, actually, I also went through the same thing. I could not so, excuse. So, Clara, that was 13 and 14 cancels all your guilt. Jesus yes. paid the price. And that's why I use that word in 13 and 14 that God is saying, I've forgiven you. God is saying all penalty against you has been cancelled. You are set free. Now, are you going to believe what Jesus did or are you going to believe what you did? And if you're going to believe what you did, that can take you to hell. And, it, and you can experience hell on earth. But if you are going to believe what Christ did for you, then there is no more condemnation. You are not listening to the lies of the stranger. You have got the written document that Jesus is saying, every one of your past has been cancelled. Amen. This scripture by now should give you joy because joy comes through believing what the scripture says. And the best part is what the scripture says has got no physical evidence at all. It is purely spiritual. But it is backed up with the document of heaven signed by Jesus. So, I can say in one line, a person can be experiencing happiness to the things he is seeing which are in his favor. But that person is not experiencing the joy because it's not on things seen. It's on the promises, what Christ has done for you through the scriptures which has been accomplished. So, the very root, the joy is a supernatural, super abundant gift from God that God has granted you total forgiveness of your past, present and future. And because of which, you have two things with you right now. The joy and the peace of Christ. Because now, the scripture has cancelled the lies of the devil and put you into a right relationship with God based on the scripture. So, remember, if I don't have the written scripture with me, then I do not have the truth. I, have, I can believe a lie, or I can believe the truth. But if I believe the truth, then I will not experience the happiness that is in the world, but I will be experiencing the joy of the Lord, which comes from heaven. Praise God. Praise God. So I can be experiencing real joy, which is the fruit of the Spirit. So, question is, do I want to go after Bible joy? Or the world joy, which is joy, but it's not joy. People look for happiness and that happiness is temporary. Because when difficult times come, happiness will disappear. 
But when difficult come, things come into your life and you have joy that comes from the scriptures, praise God, that's going to give you more strength, more God's ability. Give God the biggest praise for His goodness that He has done all this because of His love. And experience the mercy of God and the truth. And enjoy your life forever. Experiencing His joy, which is the strength of our life. Praise God. Praise God. It does not matter who comes against you, who is against you, difficult times against you. What matters is, what are you focused with? If focus to Jesus, then joy is the source. Amen. And if you are focused to your situation, then everything can change any moment. Yeah. On behalf of that sister, can I ask you one question, brother? Because, yeah, sure. Yeah. See... Uh, see, I also, see, after Corona time, I understood the word. I have to speak in faith, say what you want to see, all these things. But when I understood uh, the memories, because of the question, based on the question, I'm speaking for her and I'm telling you because I know the pain. So, uh, what I used to happen is, until recent time, I used to feel, oh, I cannot, uh, how could I do? It was that pain, you know, it's just coming all over again. Even for my daughter, when I used to say, forget the past, she would say, Mommy, I know the scripture, forget the past. In the Bible it is written, but the memories are coming. What will I do? Now I know it is Bible way by faith. We have to say it is all done and it is blotted out. But for this sister's sake, because I went through this many times. So brother, what we say? You no, know, because the memories are coming, you know, the over and again and again. By faith, See, you have given the answer, yes. But we, maybe women again, you know, more uh, feeling best. We are not supposed to be, but it took a long time for me to overcome this. Praise God. Are you there? Yes. The first thing is, when the person surrenders his life to Jesus, the first thing Jesus says, follow me. So when you start following Jesus, first thing that happens is, there's a radical change in you. You're born yes. again, and now you want to eat the word day and night like you've never eaten before in your life. You're going on eating and eating and eating. And as you're eating, your transformation is taking place. The life of Christ is now inside you. Praise God. And this life of God now begins to speak to you through the written word. And as these thoughts come to you, the first thing you realize that this is not what the Bible says. What the Bible says is that God has forgiven. My question to you is, you made some mistakes. What about Paul? He killed thousands of people. There's no number recorded. How much should he feel guilty? But the moment he encountered Jesus on the way to Damascus, he realized that his old Adam nature has been nailed on the cross and Christ has given him his nature of righteousness. Now it's up to Paul, either he believes what Christ has done and lives his life or has unbelief and continue to live with the old carnal nature all his life and be experiencing hell all the time. God has given you his new life. But if you are still not willing to accept it, God cannot help you because he has given you his Holy Spirit, is guiding you, is giving you his written word, and you can see all that, and yet choose not to believe, 
God loves you. And if you are saying, I won't believe, he will even open the doors of heaven. Uh, he will even open the door of hell for you. But he will not oppose you. He is always for you. He has given you the freedom to choose. You choose what you want. To live your life in guilt or to live your life in freedom. It's one's own choice. It's my choice to either accept the invitation and come for this meeting. It's my choice not to accept. Every moment we have choices. If you make choices connected to godly things and focus that all that you're doing, you're doing it for Jesus only. To honor Jesus, to glorify Jesus, and no matter what looks like, the devil giving you lies of consequences, but you stick to the truth, the result is supernatural. Amen. So the question comes, how much of lies are you listening to? Or how much of truth are you listening to? Yes. Please God. I believe uh, that covered the three questions that were there in the chat as well. Um, also, Papa, uh, can you please also share? Uh, now, Sister Clara asked you regarding if what if I have that guilt feeling? Um, so there was a question like two questions like this. And there's another question which says, what if people around me keep reminding me of what I did in my past days? I know I have received God's forgiveness and know his love. But my family keep uh, reminding me of my past, okay. what to do. Okay. As I told you, I come from a gang life, club life, sinful life. And I share my testimony. Because the old person is dead. He, he does not exist anymore. So what difference it makes that you speak about a dead man? He's dead. Even the court cannot have a case continuing when the person is dead, the case is dismissed. So why do you want to talk to me about the case dismissed? I would rather speak about the case that I'm living for. And with this new new life that I'm living, I'm enjoying every moment. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Do you want yes. to go to the dead case or do you want to go with Jesus? Where he sends you and share what has happened to you, your new life or your old life? New life. So why bother about the old? Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You can share your old life by saying what took the devil 45 years or 50 years to build his fort in my mind. But thanks be to God when I went to a retreat and the word was preached. The mercy of God took over. The grace of God took over. And I chose to believe what the preacher was speaking because it's the written word of God. That's all. That's all I did. The moment I believed, everything in my life changed instantly. That's what he said. Every document that was against you has been nailed on the cross. So why do you go for inner healing again and again? Why not believe that it has been done once and for all? Do you know why you go for inner healing? Because you have not yet believed. But this world is teaching you different methods. But that's not what the Bible teaches. How many how many healing, inner healing sessions did Paul go through? How many inner healing did Peter go through when he encountered Jesus? Peter would deny Jesus. Come on. None. Can anybody talk to me? None, none. So why do we have inner healing? What we need is not an inner healing. We need to believe what God said. And the next moment you are walking, not only in healing, you are walking in the power of God, casting out demons. I can tell you, that when, I, when, when Hindus come for the retreat, I get excited. You know why? 
when the unbelievers come, the unbelievers come, I get excited. Why? Because it's a show time of God's glory. So I call the Christians who are sick and I call the non-believers and I share with them the word. And I say, come on now, do you believe? They say, yes. Put your hand and rebuke the devil. And the person gets delivered. It looks so fantastic to see the non-believers not even baptized, water baptized, but baptized in the Holy Ghost, casting out demons and healing the sick. Come on, we are royal priesthood, that Bible says. What happened to the royal priesthood? You know what? I must have been not even one month old in the Lord when God began to teach me his word and gave me the understanding. I used to go and stand in a queue for being prayed over. But let me tell you, it was not even one month. I was already preaching what Christ has done in my life and how he healed me. And by the end of one and a half month, I was already casting out demons. Because what you need is to believe. And believe is you are at rest. You're confident on what God said. You're moving into action with what God said. And that gives you the joy. My joy is not working hard to get something from God. But my joy is to understand what God has put in my account. And all I need to do is believe and use it. Wow. Happiness. You have to purchase it. And it's temporary. You have to work hard for it. But that's not what joy is. Joy is believing in what Jesus has accomplished for me on the cross. And I just receive it. And that's why the joy of the Lord is my strength. Not mine. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. This is a gift from God that gives me the strength to face every trial. Not with happiness, with confidence that just as Christ moved on this earth, taking authority, I've got his power of attorney, and in his power of attorney, I'm also assigned to destroy temptations and the kingdom of darkness and set the captives free. I don't know about y'all, I've got a uniform from heaven. The demons can see it, human beings can't see it. But I believe that I'm on a uniform. And when I'm in uniform, the authority, the power, everything begins to flow. Praise God. This uniform teaches me and strengthens me and empowers me to say no to sin and yes to Jesus all the time. So this joy does not run after the treasures of this world but runs after the treasures of the kingdom of God. What do you say? Praise God, brother. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This is how we win. This is how we fight. In the kingdom of the world, majority wins. The day I realized Caleb and Joshua were only two who stood on the ground of the promise of God, they then entered the promised land. I am not interested in the majority of people who are in the flesh. I am only interested in teaching who have got the guts to believe what the Bible says and get out of all the, the wrong teachings, learn the truth, live by the truth, and walk in glory. But Jesus said, I'm not saying, Jesus said, these signs will follow them that believe. If you are a true believer, signs and wonders shall follow you. Miracles will follow you. Demons will be cast out. Sick shall be healed. And if you are a fake believer, in the eyes of God, not in the eyes of people, nothing happens. I challenge anybody to walk in the sunlight and there should be no shadow. 
So if you are walking in the light, that same light is the light to the world. And everyone who are caught up in darkness, this light shines in their heart and you set the captives free. And this is the joy that keeps you going day and night without a stop. Because that joy of working together with the Lord, being led by the Spirit, and setting the captives free. This is the treasure that you are working day and night for. It's your choice. Believe it. Praise God. Don't believe it. I'll still praise my God. But whatever you choose is your harvest. Whatever I choose is my harvest. The ball is in your court. Don't you dare tell God that the ball is in his coat. No, he has given it into your coat. You call the shots. God is not calling the shots. He's saying, I've given you authority and power, whatever you need. You call the shots. And that's why I wanted to ask Clara. She has always been a good lady, right from childhood. I've been the most notorious fellow right from childhood. Two people in two different kingdoms. But the one who has been very good never knows the Bible. Whereas the other one who has been in darkness for the first time sees the light and the good shepherd says, follow me. And I'll make my decision to follow the word of God. And nothing goes above the word of God because the word of God is Jesus himself. And when he said, follow me, and I began to follow, I did not even know when he sent me. But those whom he calls, he justifies, cleanses them, makes them new. And then he sends them back into the world. But this time, with arms and emanation of heaven, with the sword of the Spirit in his hand, with the armor of God, marches into the world. And let me tell you, the weapons of God are far, 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 far superior than the weapons of this world. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I've got somebody um, to call. Important. I'll be back. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Papa. Um, Sister Clara. Till then, would yes, you like to continue? Yes. Any questions, Clara, Sister? All of your time, Clara. No problem. Thank you, brother. I took all of your time. Sorry about it. Thank you for coming and giving us the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Yes, God. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you, brother. Yes, anybody has any questions again? If you have questions, please put them in the chat and we'll ask them for you. And uh, still, again, I want to tell that sister. Uh, first of all, you know, see, now we know earlier, uh, see, I had very few people to say, you know, uh, this can be healed, that can be healed, very new. But now, as the testimony is increased, it is sure, you know, otherwise also the Bible is the written word and it is the uh, document of heaven. Nothing can go wrong in that, no? But still, for us to understand, when there are so many testimonies, sister, it's, you know, it's, you know, like removing the skin of the peanut. It's like that. Especially skin disease. Within a week, if the child confesses, uh, only, see, earlier we used to tell so many things, but now I'm giving to the children. Only Luke 4, 18 and 19. And they write, and they, within a week they come back. So it's all heart condition, sister. And also, can I say a prayer now, please, for that child? 
whoever is going through this pain or affliction that sister so, is there or quite a few children so you make a prayer for all and we all will stand faith for all of these children and believe yes. that they are yes. healed yes yes thank you jesus praise to jesus where there are two or more people are there your presence is there thank you holy spirit for anointing us lord jesus in your name i bind every spirit which is coming against these children maybe skin affliction rejection loneliness or whatever the infirmity i bind you spirit and cast into the sea never to turn back again you are destroyed in the name of jesus i curse you spirit of infirmity like jesus cursed the fig tree be uprooted right now in the name of jesus the children who we are praying for who we are ministering they are the children of god they are the body of christ satan sickness any infirmity has no power over them and i declare by jesus wounds the children are completely healed thank you jesus the same anointing what the our students where i minister how they get healed the same anointing i i i anoint the children with the same anointing and i declare by your wounds they are completely healed your life is flowing in them lord your blood is flowing in them every cell of their body is perfected in the name of jesus all their every organ of their body is functioning well to the perfection to which god has created to function nothing missing nothing broken everything that is malfunctioning is perfected in the name of jesus i command the holy angels to bring forth a manifestation right now in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit for this creative miracle great is their peace thank you holy spirit for guiding them guarding them and comforting them these children are rooted in the word of god they are like the trees planted by the rivers of water bearing fruit until old age full of sap and green they are set free from every evil they are set free from every bondages they are delivered from the curse of the law abraham's blessings are upon them and their generations thank you jesus as go, as god was with joseph they, he was prosperous we declare god is with them these children they are prosperous in every area of life they can do all things through christ jesus who strengthens them the joy of the lord is their strength the spirit of the lord is upon these children the favor of the lord is upon them the spirit of the lord is upon the parents who are asking for the prayers their household and the favor of the lord is upon them the children are blessed and anointed they have the mind of christ wisdom of god is formed within them the spirit of wisdom knowledge understanding holiness is upon them spirit of abba father is upon them spirit of excellence is upon them spirit of might is upon them thank you jesus for anointing them they are blessed to be the blessing to nations thank you jesus hallelujah lord jesus we declare the hedge of protection around them wherever they are going they are protected in the name of jesus we anoint them and their household with the precious blood of jesus from the crown of the head to the sole of their foot thank you holy spirit thank you abba father thank you jesus for for taking out and blotting out every sin every rejection every pain every sickness on the cross nailing on the cross and it is uprooted it is destroyed destroyed in the name of jesus and our children are completely healed in the name of jesus amen 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 yes janisha 
Yes, please, Paul. Um, before joining on this session, I as a skin itching and I couldn't sit because I don't know. And I use that same scripture, Luke 4, 18 and 19. And I said, I just, I speak to my itching and I don't know, I am, I, I, if I lie there, I am just taking pick and sending you because it was too horrible since uh, I was in night duty till today. It was so much itching, itching, itching. So doctor, when I went doctor, doctor said articaria. So I'm not believing articaria. I'm believing what Jesus has done in my life. And yes, completely healed me. And yes, setting me free on this uh, uh, this situation and this, my itching, itchiness. I don't know that just before. And I just took that oil and I said, Lord, this is your blood. This is your blood. I'm applying on my leg which was, I was feeling itchiness and any skin, any skin problem are destroying in the name of Jesus and my skin are recreating and my skin were uh, like, looks like a newborn baby. You made me, made my skin uh, like normal newborn baby. And Amen. when I joined on this uh, group, this meeting, so exact their sister's child wants because Holy Spirit wants me to tell on this. Uh, I was told before because somebody has um, avoided me, but 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 Holy Spirit convicting my heart to tell. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Janisha, it is not my infirmity, my itching, my skin problem. Okay, it is, it is the spirit of infirmity. It is the infirmity. Don't ever claim it is mine. Okay. The any sickness is not yours. You are the body of Christ. You are completely healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay. Because you said my itchiness, my my my. Okay, it is the sickness is not ours. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sister. Uh, would you like to continue? You have 10 minutes. Okay. Now, I wanted to tell sister, see, anywhere you go, uh, see, the healing comes. This is brother's teaching always, right? The healing comes when we follow two things, when we forgive and when we let go of the bitterness. Now, everybody knows what is forgiving, what is bitterness also, because so many times it's bombarded, isn't it? Now, forgiving is very easy for us to go to Jesus and ask for forgiveness when we do some mistakes. But uh, healing takes place only when we let go of that bitterness. That is, if somebody has done something wrong and we are holding on to that because we are feeling bad, we are hurt, that time, Jesus cannot do anything, but he is asking, I have forgiven you, you forgive. So if anybody is finding it difficult to forgive others or uh, having bitterness, brothers and sisters, you know, we have to let go. That is the only thing Jesus has asked us in Mark 11, 23, 24, 25. You know? When you pray, when you stand in prayer, forgive your brother and let go of that bitterness. Yes or no? It is very difficult in the, the sense knowledge. But yes. when we believe that, you know, Jesus has done everything for us. That time, uh, Sister Genesia, that time it is easy. You know, easy means maybe, see, what happens is, this is what I learned. See, when you pour the water, you see, when you have uh, weed outside, if you don't pour the water, automatically after three days it will die. But if you keep on thinking on the same thing, what he has told, what he has told, you know, if you play, keep playing on that scene, your bitterness increases. One sister Fedora had, uh, you know, told this was very, you know, I liked it. What she said sister. is, once you keep the sister. bitterness, please, please or, one minute, Baba, one minute. All the brothers and sisters, cousins, everybody come and becomes a sycamore tree. So before it grows to a sycamore tree, 
before entertaining all the brothers and sisters of bitterness, we uproot that from the root and we destroy. And we tell, thank you, Jesus, for giving me the grace to forgive that brother and sisters. Because you have forgiven me, I, I choose to follow your instruction and I forgive and let go. That time the healing comes fast. Yes, yes Baba, yes. Janisha, tell me. Sister, what you are telling and exactly uh, it's there in scripture, it was Ephesians 4, 31, 32. Thank you, Jesus. All yeah. things are there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. So, see, Sister, you say Ephesians 4, 29, 32. Uh -huh, 1 31, 32. Okay, no problem. 1 Corinthians 13, 48. Titus 3, 2, 3, 2, 5. Everything is telling be kind, be gentle, be tender-hearted, forgive each other, and do not envy, and uh, you know, all these things. You know, everything, if you see, Bible speaks only uh, about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Be gentle, be kind, be patient, be loving. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, so many. See, actually, I wanted to tell all those things, but brother came, it is good only. See, Titus 3. Shall we, sister, can we put this, uh, Titus 3 to 5? Titus yes. 3. Two to five. See this? Read that. Read nicely. Okay. Two to five. Two is so not good. So, say so you want me to read or you want Janisha to read it? You read, sister. Anybody? Nicely read. Okay. Titus 3, 2 to 5. 2 to 5. Oh, 2 to 5. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You to read, speak, sister. Nicely. Yeah. Uh. To speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, but gentle, shewing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also was sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior, toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Praise God. Sister, see, what happens is, we tend to blame others. We tend to say so many things about others. Now, especially parents might think it is, uh, no children are doing something, we go and complain and uh, earlier, she's like that, she's like that. But what about us? We also went through the same thing. We were also foolish at sometimes, like this only. So we need to be gentle, not to complain all the time. Have patience. I told you, you know, St. Augustine was 24 years like this. Uh, it was so bad. He had every evil thing in him. But when he, when he, his heart was converted, he asked God when he was 33, he asked God, why didn't you kill me Why I, when I was so disobedient, when I brought disgrace to your name? Then Lord Jesus said to him, now then he became the doctor of the church. Okay. Have you heard of St. Augustine? Any brothers and sisters? Saint Monica's son. Okay, so he became the doctor of church when he became when he was thirty three years. Okay, so what Jesus said is, I wanted you to go through all this so that you become humble and you know you cannot do anything without me. Whatever you did, finally you lost. How much sinful life you can you can live? You lose. So you lost. Now you understood. Without my grace, you cannot do anything. 
and you now you go and help others and uh, give peace to others be a gentle uh, what we say peacemaker or be a comfort to others so we cannot you know write off somebody you know he is like that he is like this so be gentle maybe some children also pointing at the parents my parents are like this my parents nobody is perfect everybody is going through pain and you know they have their own limitations but instead of blaming if we forgive each other if we are gentle and you know according to 1 corinthians 13 4 8 8 love is patient we don't keep the records of wrongs and shut your mouth when we want to tell something if it is not edifying others that is efficient bible says whenever you speak words it has to edify others don't uh, you know uh, don't say anything what you want and even the jokes if you see as the children of god we should be very careful what you say say what you want to see correct no as uh, now one more thing i i just remembered one point i had forgotten see the it is a godly parenting you had told if the parents now see children also please try to understand parents also don't know everybody is not perfect so excuse because we are still under grace you know so but if the parents are comparing parents we should know it is wrong because each child is unique we cannot say your sister is like this your sister is like that how you are like that don't compare and if the children if you know the parents have done all these things please forgive them ask forgiveness from lord jesus and forgive them and uh, jesus has already delivered you from that pain rejection jesus has gone through everything when you look into jesus cross and uh, believe him and confess um, believe in your heart and confess in your mouth jesus christ is the lord my savior you are delivered from every pain every sickness every rejection thank you jesus and we are supposed to be godly children bringing glory to our lord jesus amen Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank okay. you so much.